today. It's Matt NFL football. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. coverage of the National Football League takes us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in the Queen City of Cincinnati. Today, no waiting around, we jump right into an AFC North battle in week one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Room here to run. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Pass over the middle, tipped, but he still brings it in. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Second down at six now from the 42. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day in need of a conversion on third down they had the big play to start the drive not much sense from the shotgun Joe Burrow Looking middle, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now it's Burrow. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. This is shaping up to be a really nice looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Inside handoff to Mixon. And this carry brought to an end at the eight. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone.
6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. but 15 yards on the return. And the Bengals take over first and 10. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up? The it's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A big play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. All year from coaches and personnel directors in the NFL, how difficult it is for a rookie receiver to have an impact on the game. So much to learn, so much offense to absorb. Looks like he's picking it up pretty well. Here's Presley Harbin now. Fielded at about the 28. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Back to Mixon on first down. Gets past one man. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. 74 yards rushing for him in his first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And now they will throw it with Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Play action with Burrow. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase, 33 yards. And the Bengals are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So a good start to...
Now Burrow on first down. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. On the delay, it's Mixon. Oh, good move. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. He used the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Good start throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We begin 2022 up in the Tar Heel State. Cleveland paying the opening day visit to Carolina. And that's been a back and forth game, all tied in the second quarter. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. Andy Dalton has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they've got the lead in that one over the visiting Baltimore Ravens. The Jets trying to hold on and claim victory. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First and 10, Joe Burrow. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Mix it up the middle. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bengals come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. In order to lead in a game. down. Here's Burrow. This pass complete to Higgins. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal 
get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Mixon with a first down carry, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. They're all going to get this into the hands of Mixon, his running back. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. From the gun on third down is Burrow. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 30. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Sports. All together, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Here's a give to Mixon. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now it's Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. The quick slam caught. Taken down, but he does have first down yardage. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Mixon. And the second wave of tackling. It's a loss of two there, Bray. Here we go. 
Burrow looking to pass. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. From the gun to give to Mixon. Stiff-armed him. A solid stiff arm. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That good for 19 and a first down. Again, it's Mixon. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Mixon trying to punch it in. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon with now three week one touchdowns. And the Bengals are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about all the little things that need correcting. But for the most part, they've got to be ecstatic with the way this season has started out. was not just the opener of a brand new season but this was a division game here in week one and to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season yeah let's pile it all into one game right opening the season and you open within the division you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines one just executed better and earned the win so for Cincinnati, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Steelers, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try again next week at home against New England. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.